about this year, let us be reminded that whatever we have faced in this year, that our God is greater, bigger, and more powerful than any situation we face. What's bigger than you? What's stronger than you? It don't exist. It don't exist. What's more powerful or in control? It don't exist. It don't exist. Who else can rescue me? Supply all my needs. They don't exist. They don't exist. Who else can make me whole and save my soul? They don't exist. They don't exist. You are greater than anything.
that's how long you're worthy. So that's how long I'll bring you praise. That's how long you're worthy. So that's how long I'll bring you praise. That's how long you're worthy. That's how long I'll bring you praise. That's how long you're worthy. That's how long I'll bring you praise. That's how long you're worthy. That's how long I'll bring you praise. That's how long you're worthy. That's how long I'll bring you praise. For what you've done and all the battles you brought. Greetings and welcome, everyone. Yeah. God is good <laughs> and all the time. All right. All right. All right. It's time I'd like to ask the worship team that will be leading us in our worship song to begin us in our worship to God.
If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. Cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. Let us uh, continue in our worship to God. Ole tapo inga ile tua. Praise the Lord God, God of Israel, who alone does such wonderful things. Praise his glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with its glory. Amen and amen. Let us pray. We ask, O Holy Spirit, to be with us this morning as we worship you. May you continue to abide in us 
so that we may worship you in spirit and in truth, glorifying the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ole vi inga ile tu ole pese se lau tolu se fun mal valu. 138 from our Psalm on Hymn Book. Let us continue to lift up those in our prayer corner. 
praise God for his blessing and healing upon uh, Grandma Pai was in the hospital this week, but she is with us today. Let's continue to lift up Safa Inga and the family in their time of mourning. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Our Father in heaven, who is merciful and full of grace, as we witness your grace upon us for your love that has to sustain our lives each and every day, as we gather this morning, O Lord, in worship unto you, we give you the praise, we give you the honor and the glory, for you are deserving, O Lord. You are awesome and wonderful, and you are great in every way. We thank you, Lord, as we gather this morning, the beginning of the week, as we think about last week and the activities, the trials, the tribulations, that we have faced, O Lord, that you have brought us here this morning so that we may begin this week renewed and refreshed so that we give to you the glory that you deserve, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, even though we faced storms last week, our mother who was in the hospital, very sick, and yet you have brought her here safely for your healing power to be upon her, your answering of our prayers of healing upon her. And also, Lord, as we heard the tragic news of Mother Leah Leah back in Samoa, yes, she has been sick for many days, months, even years. But you have called her away from this world that we live in, that we face many troubles, suffering. She is in peace with you, Lord, in heaven. So we pray, Lord, as we come before you this morning, thanking you for her, her life as she offered her life as a sacrifice to you to bring up her kids in faith in you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Although we have heard of these news that has affected our families and our community, but we are thankful, Lord, that you are a loving Father, a gracious God, we thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe as we went our separate ways. Our children, as they continue school, schooling from home, and those who will begin uh, in uh, class schooling this coming week. So we thank you, Lord. Thank you that you have kept us safe, that you have continued to provide for us our daily needs giving us good health, even though many struggle with health issues. We thank you, Lord, for continuing to answer our prayers of not only comfort, of healing, of strength and provision, not only physically, but mentally and spiritually as well. Praise God Almighty for your goodness for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, as we gather in spirit this morning, not only to offer thanksgiving of praises unto your holy name, of tithing unto you, 
of also humbling ourselves, knowing that we are sinners in need of you, Lord Jesus, our Savior. As we also ask for your blessings upon us, we thank you for the opportunity that you have given us to come together as a family of believers. For months, even a year, we have not been able to be here to worship together with fellow believers because of the pandemic. But we are thankful, Lord, that slowly everything is start, starting to open up again. It is because of your presence, O oh Lord, and as you continue to answer our prayers about this pandemic that has affected many, especially this whole world that we live in. So we thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence in our lives, for your provision. We thank you for this church family and this building that we have, this property that you have provided for us, the parsonage on the property, in our future plans, O oh Lord. For we know that we cannot do anything without you, Lord God, in our presence and in our lives. So we thank you so much that even though we were not able to gather, but yet your faithful people here continue to tithe and to offer unto you so that we may be able to continue on with our, the operations of our church. So to God be the glory for everything that you have done and continue to do in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your word that is a lamp to our feet, a light to our path, that gives us words of wisdom, words of salvation, so that we may keep in our hearts and so that we may live out your word. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that is in our hearts. We are the ones that continue to refuse the work of your Holy Spirit. But it is there. You promised us your Holy Spirit to help guide us, to lead us, to encourage us, especially during these times. So we thank you, Lord, for continuing to work in our hearts, strengthening our faith unto you. After a year of not being together now, Lord, we are open slowly, of course, with the guidelines that we must obey so that we may continue to worship. But as we slowly, O oh Lord, open up fully, we thank you. We thank you because it is your Holy Spirit that has guided us throughout all of our trials and our tribulations, our ups and downs, you have strengthened us during these times. But most of all, we are grateful for the gift of salvation. Thank you, Jesus, that you suffered and died on the cross at Calvary as we were reminded on Holy Week, Easter Sunday, that although you died, but yet you are triumphant over death and sin. As you came to life, giving us the hope for eternity, praise God. Faftaile tua, faftaile mato ma futanga le neitu la, a matai la ufiel mato fenga malang le neifu iva yaso fo mato ulia le neita yau pa ia. Vi ia la ufio me le leima me sir sili u e fia mo imato. La utus pa ia. O le anganga pa ia o la ufio. A me se la ufa au la tanga. Le e sa unia mo imato. E ala ilo maliu mo lo tuesu e fuma no malo me leoti ma le tuk mao. Le o mato o li o li ai. I le fa au la tanga. Wa umo na e sa unia. 
Ela ele salmo mo le fa tu tu ila u fi. O ma tu fa ala ta ta tu yo luma ile loto fa maulalo. Ile loto salmo. Ma tu te lo ngoneina lo ma tu fa ta va ma le le a tu tu yo luma. Ta utino atu o i ma to o le fa nau o le fotu le anga ma se. Tele me o ma tu fa ya o le tu sai ma lo fina nga lo pa ia ne di ie. Fa ya lava me ma tu te mana na oai le tu ina nau o le tino ma le ma fu fau ma le loto. A o ma tu fa tu o tu na ai la o fio e ma tu te ma oai le ola. O ma tu fa anga lo ina. Le puna o le fa'o le tanga mo i mātou. Ono le mātou fia o popoto ma le fia i loa. Fa'a maulunga. O mātou o atu le li ie ma le loto fa'a maulalo. Mātou i oi i la u fio ma le loto salamo se i alofa ma fa'a ma 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 fa'a ma ngalo i mātou. E ala i lou tino ma lou toto pa ia Iesu sa faa mu mo ina ma faa maling ina i lungo le saa tau. Ina i ma 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 ngalo i ma tau le faa na wong sa. I faa pe na fo ina ma tau faa ma ngalo atu i e ua angale anga mai ia i ma tau. O a faa pe feo na faa ma ngalo ina i ma tau pe a fai ma tau te le faa ma ngalo atu. Faa fo wino lo ma tau wo la tau ma fai le li ie mo la u fio. I fa pe na o na mato ala sa ili la u fio i lea tae au ma lea tae au. A mata ilo mato fuo fuanga i lo fa atasi mai ina ia iu mal manduia. Le aso au e fa atasi mai pea le di ie. I la u pui puinga e me se foi lo fa atasi mai ta ita ina ilo mato ola. Fa pe na no mato fo lingai ila u fio. Le ngata i upu mātou te tau te talai. Ao le a mio e au nga te ngi ai le lofa o oe te mā. I le soi fuo mele olo mātou te ngata fa atu tua. Le li i ele tua o e silafia. Le nei nuu ma le nei kalesia. E silafia... Me o lo otutupu te tonu o si o mātou ai nga lotu. Le li ele tu e whape nā nā nga le leima sa saa mai au whaa manuianga. I lunga o lo nuu lau e kalesia e o mātou fuofuanga i te tonu o mātou ai nga e mese fo i te tonu lau e kalesia. I a mata i lau fio me a umalama mātou te whaia matou e whaeu i lau lava a fio. I na iman ui ai le neiwa yaso ma fua fuanga mātou te whenga yai. Le li i ele atua o e silafia se tasi o a wau auna ti ākono ya e mese fo'oi le āinga. Loto fa'a wau wau o na ui āmia se tasi o ti nā matua e pele i āinga, pele fo'oi i mātou i la mātou mahafutanga. Mātou te talu i whape nāna Fa'a ma fana fana lea ngango la u fio I lungo la u auna ma lea ainga I neiva i tau whainga tā Fa'a maise la u fio Ia i lātolo i Samoa Ia e maise fo'o i eolo o tangi i ala Wā tue sau ninga o si o mātou tina Le li ele atua E fa'a penana ia i lau fa'a malu longa i lunga O e o lo o whaanga singa sea i te tonu o lo mātou nuu nei la o e kālesia Ti nā ma te mā mātou tua Ia se eo o lava i whānau A i nga whoi o lo o salalau atu Mātou te whaatu o tua ma tali tonu i lo mana lāviai La o mana whaa mālo o lo Le ia pa i atu pa i ane O a le suafa lava o Iesu ke riso E ma whaia o na whaa mālo o lo i nai so o se tasi Le li ie le tua. Mātou te talo i la u fio i whape nānu so soani nai o mātou whānau i o lātou wa o ong. 
Neua lama na mfai u misi wa onga ikulisi mutotonu anga tulanga lua ma onga fo el fana ma to tutalu ifa atasi pela u fie fo ile poto malata mai ila to e u ina fenga tale ne vai tau ila to wola o o ina ifa pena ona feso so ani la u fie lo la to wola tau ma fai Nisi fo el fa na ula fa u ina mal manuia o onga mai kulisi yanga le lei ma fa manuia la u fio i su enga o to o le nei fo i ma sina ne ya ulia tu le aso fa moi moina ya vi i apela va la u fio le tu ol ma tu to ma ma tu to talu i fa pe na ona fe so so ani la tu ol ma te la ina fi a mo le fe so so ani I may say that I tell you that the love of the soul is the only thing that 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 is the only Samu is a sae, ma samu is a sifu, a mese fu e il fenga palota lo iai nei. Ia mato tu upe e la ufio. Fa asino la ufio ni tai tai. Wa le manuia o le fenga malo. Manuia fu e le nea tu nuu, le li ie, le ngata ie lo fai ma tai tai. O le nea tu nuu, a mese fu e ie lo fai ma tai tai o e ka le sia tai tasi. Ia vea tu langa o lo ufa pena na vea ina atou ma tai tai o e lo upule. E na atou te alo lo fai a wale manuia o le laute. E di ele a tua ia nisi na o matou o lenga e le nei tu la. Tu ina atou ila ufi o ma lenga nga fa atou tu. Ia fai a pela va lo finangalo e au lava o matou loto. O no Iesu o matou wole ma vala o atua inei. Amen. Ole Vitawina Ole Tuspaia, our scripture reading for this morning. Ole Evangelia Yoane, I mean Yoane Mumua, Mumua Le Yoane, Tao Puelua, Ole Puelua Sumalvalu, Se Fangata Mai Ile Mumua Yoane, Tao Puetolu, Fue Puesifulu. Mo mua le Ioanem ta au pue lua, fui pue lusu malvalu, angata mai le fui pue, ta au pue tolu, fui pue se fulu. First John chapter two, verse twenty-eight. The first John chapter three, verse ten. We will first read from the Samoan version. Uh, and then we'll read from the English version, the NIV version. But before we read the, the Word of God, let us read what's in front of Second Timothy. Um, if you have your programs, uh, read with me. O tuspaia u malava e maile angang o lea tua ia, e anga fo ia e a o a o ai. E a o ai ai, e fa a tonu ai, e fa a potu ai fo ai le a mi o tonu. I nei a to tua o na le lei ai o le tangata o le a tua. I a sa unia lava i a nga luenga le lei uma lava. All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Yeah. Let us rise as we read the Word of God. Ia le fa ama ai na fo e ila i ta to i ona luma i lo na fio mai.
Fauta ile sirisili o le lofo o fo ina mai ele te mai a te itato. Ina o ta ua itato le fa na o le tua. Ilu fa pia lava. O le mele ele ilu a itato ele la lulangi. Awa na le ilu a oia. Oi lato uma foi o iai le ne fa amo e moe e a te ilato ua taitasi ma fa ama maina o ia eia fa apei ona mamá o ia. Ua to ilo foi na fa alia o ia ina ia ave esse ina e ia a tato uang sala. Ele oia te ia foi se ang sala. Le fana ue. Aua ne i fa se 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 ta si a te utou. O le fai le ami utonu. O le ami utonu lea. Fa apei o na ami utonu oia. Ui lato uma ue fa nau mai i le atua, lato te le faia le ang sala. A wā o lo tu mau i to tonu ia te i lato lo na winga. I le mfai o na, le mfai foi o na ang sala, a wā u fa nau mai i lato i le atua. Mea lea ua i loa i le fa nau o le atua, ma le fa nau o le ti apolo. Ui lato uma ue fai le ami o tonu, i le mai i le atua i lato. A toa mae le alofa i o la to uso. And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in them, they cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. This is how we know who are the children God are and who are the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother or and sister. May the Lord bless us in the hearing of his word and may all honor and glory be unto him now and forevermore. You may be seated. At this time, the worship team will be 
uh, singing for us a worship song.
Langaia <laughs> Fata nui nai lau fe au malau ngā luenga, a mesa lau vala wino i mātou. Papa ia ma fa manuia ili nei fuai, ono Iesu. Amen. O le launga ili suafa o le tamā malealo malianga ngā pa ia. Our meditation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O le... Our text for this morning, First John, chapter 3, verse 2 is our text for this morning. A wata to i loa, pe a fa ali mai oia, o na fo linga i leo i tato i a teia. A wata to te i loa tino lava o o oia. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be as has not been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, 
for we shall see him as he is. I would like to stress for this morning the words from this very text. And it goes like this. We shall be like him. We shall be like Jesus. Ona fo lingai le o itato ya teia. Ona fo lingai le o itato ya Yesu. Ona mna tu le na te ita ina e no itato ma fo fonga ilo nei lava taiao. There is a book by uh, I think I mentioned this before by Max Lucado, a pastor in Texas. And the book that he wrote is entitled, Just Like Jesus. You see, Lucado made this statement, which I believe is quite important for us. God loves you just the way you are. God loves you just the way you are, writes Lucado. But then, he refuses to leave you that way. He refuses to leave you that way. He wants you to be like who? Like Jesus. That's how much God loves you and me. Now there's a statement we can take home with us for us to imitate our Lord Jesus Christ. Now there, let, let it not just be words in our lives, but let it be our lifestyle the way we live our daily lives, to imitate Jesus. Let me say it again. God loves you just the way you are, but he refuses to leave you that way because he wants you, he wants me, to be just like Jesus. Kind of reminds me of a few uh, years ago, when Michael Jordan used to play, and there was a Nike commercial that says, Be like Mike. Many of our young ones, I knew I, I'm no, not even close to Mike, so I didn't want to be like Mike. But some of our young ones who played basketball, oh, they would buy those expensive shoes because they thought, If I buy these shoes, I'm going to be just like Mike, just like the commercial. But as we know, uh, that is not the case. For still today, Michael Jordan is still the greatest player of all time. LeBron James might say otherwise, but believe me, MJ is the best. Just like Jesus, I have a link to Jesus. I have a link to Jesus. I have a link to Jesus. Ya te oe ile tu langa leo lo e yai. Ai na te le tu ua oe ile tu langa leo. E manao o ia, e manao le tua, ina ia tafo linga ya Yesu. Ol fe au fo ilea, ol tu sala ya Max Lucado, mo tato uma le au fa tu tua, ina ia tato fo linga ya Yesu. Ia tato muli muli ma fa o ao ile li o Yesu. Awa e le ai lava se isi fa ata ita inga, e si le atu ilo le na fio mai le lo langi. O Yesu Kiristo le ina ia tongi o la ina o tātou wanga sala. Lave ina i tātou o e wa fātou o tua ma sala mō. O le upu ke risiano lo o fāsino ia i tātou o lo o muli muli ma tali tonu ile ke riso o tūtū. Ma le whaola tangua uma o na ia sau nia mo i tātou le whana wang sal. E pe tai, mo le tō tele ua nā o se ingoa. A e leo ata ngia, i lo tātou wola le alofa la vea i lea le atua. Tātou whesili lane lava le tangata i ate ia. Po ata ngia i lo so i fua, ma lo wola, fo linga alofa le atua. Afai ioe, ia amu ia oe. Ia afai lea ia. O le aso le nei e tātou te 
ma fo fau mo tu te pena ilo ta tu ola fa tu tu a mole moleri. Ole manatu nisi o tangata kerisiano. O tangata kerisiano pe ole kalap. Ole tu anga ili lotu ili sapati. Ai pe ita ilo fai a pe tu langa masani ole lalu langi mo na tu ina nau. Nisi o fa a pe lau kerisiano. O a o tangata kerisiano. Halo fai pe ala um le mui mui mo le fai tio. Ia uso a tua oi. Nisi fa a pea, o a o keusiano, a lo o o fai a pea le inua ava o ona, mo fa la o fa sa aina. Ia ma te le o insi mea e ma fa o fao ni ai, o lo fa a pea nanta ap tu pa o ua ili ang sala. Tu le fe iatu na pau ia, pa una mea e ta uatu a te le lava mea e le ta tu te pa o ua ili ang sala. O a le fesili na tu la i mai. Fa fea na tātou fa ape o o au ole keusiano, a lea lawa lo faia tū langa o le lau langi e le te tau na tātou faia. The word Christian is a term used for followers of Christ. Those who believe and follow Jesus' teachings that has been recorded in the Holy Scriptures, the Bible. Unfortunately, many Christians don't take our identity as Christians, seriously. We don't take it to heart. It's just a word. It has become a label for many who say that they are Christians, but their actions don't reflect God's love. Many people attend church and identify themselves as Christians, yet continue to lie, to steal, and to cheat. Many continue in addictions, drugs, alcohol, gambling, pornography, to name a few. Addictions. Yet, we come to the throne of Christ and we say we are Christians. I am not here to judge anyone because believe me, we have all fallen. We are all broken. It is a reminder for us, all of us, that we need Christ. We need to be more like Christ, to get rid of our addictions, and also to seek Jesus. The only way we can get rid of our addictions is to turn away, repent, and turn towards Christ. The cross. Ki tātou tūs whai tāu ili nei tā aolo o tā uai o e whaatua tua ma muli muli a ke riso o i lātou ia o le whānau o le tua. O lo whaamanatu mai li tu stālau o Ioane. E lea whaaina po o le āle mea lea e whaonga aina whaonga aina ia i tātou le au whaatua tua o lo whaingo i nei tātou le au whaatua tua i laulangi. O le moni a o le loan tse ingo e whaingo i tātou. Well, we're going to have a lot of Asian men and a lot of fire. And then, Paul, he's going to have a lot of fire. And then, he's going to have a lot of fire. But when he's going to have a lot of fire, he's going to have a lot of fire. And then, he's going to have a lot of fire. And then, he's going to have a lot of fire. And then, he's going to have a lot of fire. Ona amata lo lea, ona wapea lea, ai lea, ai lea, o au pea o oe, lea lea, se, wa alo ese, ma ili mea lea, sa tau a nga i ai. A fai lo tala tangata, ona tatou, o atu lea, ili tu langa lea, te tau na tatou lea o ai. Te tonu fa pena, te o telo i tatou, peer pressure. Instead of going forward and being holy like Christ, had uh, his purpose for our lives. Ita <laughs> 
ele o folinga ia Jesus folinga ele lá lá o mafu anga lena o lo tato o lá ipea ele lá lá ia ansala foi meio apostolo a fei o tato o lá na o lá tua o lo no winga o tato te folinga ia Jesus e a tangia e lo soi fua malo o lá le lo fa la via ia que riso Jesus O le fa ama natu yo ane, awa le vea lo tatu tu langa o le vea ma fa nau, le ata lii po le afa fina le atua, o ta ngata fa apa iaina, ma mea tatu te ma natu ai wa sili, wa sili atu i tatu le isi au fa atu o tua isi kerisiano, o tatu o uso atu a oi, wa sili atu lo o kerisiano i lo o kerisiano, O apau al mea lo tātou whaia o le whaamasino, whaamasino atu ma whaitio. O winga ia e tau solo muli ai nisi o lo o tau ma whai mai. E whaama a muru ai whoi nisi mai le lotu. Ai sea, o winga whaama ulunga ma le whaasa o sili. Ma le whaapea e sili atu a au ia oi, li ai. Ele é a se isso é sílio, ele se lefanga o leitua e tu tusa uma lava e tatu. Ele não é a onde tatu uma na tua. O leve me fana o leitua, ele fa apeu o sílio atu e tatu, o isi tangata e laulang. O tatu o tangata o angasala. Me na é tão tatu e loa. Tatu o tangata angasala, me le lê a tua tua e luma o leitua soi fua. O leme é se esse a ele fa ana o leitua, mai so o sitangata o leola tau ma fai e tau wivi e fa amoe moe e tau le tau wa yaso umma there is a process of being a Christian, a believer in Christ e le fa ape u tato iloa i ona ape le wa um i don't need to know anymore O lupu masa ni ei mato i kanan fou, ei se upu fa sa amoa. Fa pia, o falea o nga mea uma. O lono winga, o lono tu la i atu nei, fe atu ul malai unga atu, o lono falea o nga. Le nga te ea te au, e fa pia na o to. Lo to nofu mai na, fa alongo longo, o falea o nga, falea o nga mea uma. O lono mea moni apo o fea, le ale tike ri e ta to te maua, E o a le fou mai, me moni a, a o o le tus pa ia le a fiong pa ia le a tua. E tama, you know, e titi a pou mo mo o le mele o tato i loa. O a o le a tua o le a tua, e sili sili ma mao ae. E le i a se mea, e lilo e le silfanga le a tua. In today's passage in 1 John chapter 3, followers of Jesus are not identified as Christians, but they are identified as children of God. And yet, John reminds us that it doesn't really matter what we might call ourselves. Because as far as the world is concerned, people will see us the way they want to see us. As Jesus' followers, we can't expect the world to understand us any more than it understood Jesus. Just as they, they misunderstood what it meant for Jesus to be the Son of God, we can expect them to misunderstand what it means for us to be a child of God. But it is crucial that we understand what it means According to John, for us to be children of God means that we will be like Jesus. If we are not careful how we interpret this, then we may become arrogant and think that we are better than others just by our identifying as a child of God. There is a perception that Christians believe that you know, that 
Christians believe that they are better than other people. That is perception from others looking in. That they think that they are holier than others. That is what causes non-Christians to be skeptical about our belief as Christians because of our arrogance, our attitude. The fact is, just because we are children of God, that doesn't make us any better than anyone else in the world. We are still believing as children of God, as Christians, we are still broken. We are imperfect people. We are sinners. We are sinners in need of a Savior. What sets us apart from the rest of the world, we as Christians, as children of God, is that we are in a process of becoming more than we are. We're on the way, the path to becoming more like Jesus. That is our goal. How is it possible for us to continue to struggle for Christ? God has forgiven us and freed us from all of our sins. God doesn't just forgive us so that we can remember our lives, but now without the, the burden of our sins weighing down on us. You see, when the, the burden of our sins weigh on us, we become guilty. That's the guilt that we feel. Then we are still slaves to sin. But that's what Christ does for us. He takes the guilt away. He lifts up our burdens. And when that happens, we are no longer slaves to sin. We are free. Through his forgiveness, Christ makes it possible for us to become more than we can ever be. We can become more like Christ. We are not the same, but we are transformed. I think that's the same kind of confusion we have about God's forgiveness in our lives. God is saying, we're okay. But we think to ourselves, well, it's time to go, to go back. Not go back to where we were, like that song, but to go back to our sinful ways. No. God is telling us we're okay. Move forward, my child. Don't go back. 
There is nothing back there. But there is hope in, the, in, in front of you. God is saying, as I said, we're okay. Move forward. So that we may become more like Christ. More like Jesus when we move forward. Olo soi fuo fui na atu lea o le whanau o le atua e le toe uma. E tupu maola pea. Tupu maola pea i aso uma e o o lava i le whaavavau. Pe mei la apostolo Paulo i le Filipim ta apu e lua fo e po su lua e o le su whaa. E le pei se i wa o mau o nei, pa ua o a to toa o na le lei. Nei, a o te tau sisi atu pea pe me whae o na o maua Ai au e ke riso Iesu, le au soe, o te le manatu o o maua, a au le mea tasi o te faia, o te whaalango lango i mea, o te whaangalo ngalo i mea o le tua nai, o te mo moe pū no wai i mea o le luma nai. O te tau sisi atu le whailonga, i a maua ai le taui, ma vala uina ai au, mai lunga ai le atua i a ke riso Iesu. Le nganga le nga e tauna maua e tāna taupu le nganga le apostolo Paulo. Le nganga e sa ili pea. Whaa ngalo mea le tua nai. Mo moe le luma nai. Le whaa moe moe. I le ola i a ke riso Iesu. The Holy Spirit leads us through this process. Traditionally the church, it is called sanctification. This process of growing in spiritual likeness to Christ, it is a lifelong process for us, one that's never finished. No matter how old we may be, Paul writes about, Philipp about it in Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. And it reads, Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of what of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, straining toward what is ahead. I press toward to the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. When we find ourselves struggling in the storms of life, this passage can lift us up, keep us focused on the goal that lies ahead of us. We know that as children, we all tend to be like our parents as we grow up. And some of this is because of our DNA. And some of it's because when you raise a child, you have a lot of influence over that child. Your behavior, our behavior rubs off on them. Uh, almost a year ago, Sana preached on uh, his sermon entitled Lookalike. He showed a picture of uh, Omai and me. And uh, he asked the question, who do, do I look like? I don't know who, which one won. Maybe I did, I don't know. But look alike. It reminds me, when I grew up, I always looked to my parents and see which one do I look like. My dad was dark, handsome man. My mom was beautiful, very fair skinned. I can't say I look more like my mom or my dad, but I think I'm right in the middle because I still have some darkness in me, probably from my dad. So that is a question that we 
kind of ponder on as we think about our relatives and our siblings, about how do we, who do we look like. But in this passage that we read today, it talks about looking like Jesus. That is the one that we should all strive to look like. Not so much mom or dad, brother or sister, uncle or aunt, or maybe a famous athlete, but to strive to look like Jesus. As I talked about my, you know, the parents, their influence on us. There are things that our parents uh, do that we try to avoid. We promise ourselves, when I grow up, I'm not going to do that or this or, you know, I'm going to do that, maybe not this. I grew up, you know, as I saw my dad, um, one thing I told myself, I'm not going to drink, I'm not going to smoke like my dad, and I'm not going to yell like my dad. Those three things I grew up saying to myself, I'm not going to do. Only one thing I really succeeded on, I never smoked. But I drank. I yelled. I was not a disciplinary like my dad was. I think, oh, my did that for us in our family, for our kids. But one thing I did that reminded me of my dad as I yelled. I would sit there, everything's okay, but then when something bothers me, yep, that anger comes up. The anger that many of us feel, that have, but many of us are able to control it. Sometimes it gets out of hand. And that's what I did to my kids. I would yell and I would, afterwards I would say to myself, gosh, I just said I'm not going to do this and yet I am doing it. You know, it's things that you learn as you grow up. You learn to try not to yell to your kids. If anyone is doing that, like I did, yeah, please stop. You know, yelling is no different from hitting. Sometimes yelling is more hurtful than hitting. Believe me, I felt both of those wraths of not only being spanked, disciplined, but also being yelled at. As I said before, what you remember the most is not the beatings, what you remember the most is words. So please, if you are doing that, do not do it anymore. Don't even hit either. You might be put in jail like we have been, even back in Samoa, they don't spank kids anymore. You'll be put in jail. But don't yell either. The reason why I said about growing, the reason why I brought that up is because there is a pastor who used to be, uh, who just been, or, um, you know, been uh, installed as pastor. But before he became a pastor, he was a, a taitefono in his church. They got to the point where he wanted to be a um, lay pastor to help out with the, the pastor. There was no lay pastor at the time. So he said to his wife, I want to go to, I mean, I want to be in Awa of Soswani. Then a week later, he changed his mind. He told his wife, you know what? I don't want to be Awa of Soswani. I think I want to go to Kananafo. And she asked him, why? Why do you want to go to Kananafo? You can be, just become my also Suwani. And, and he said, because I know myself. I know that if I do this, I'm not going to put my heart into it. So he told his wife, I want to go to Kananafo so I can 
immerse myself. Spend my time, full time, to study the Word of God. To continue to grow. You see, they went in Kananafo not thinking that they will become pastors. They went into Kananafo as almost, you know, in their late 50s, early 60s, just to learn. To learn more about Christ. But what happened? God had other plans for them. They got out of Canaan foe and became pastors of the church. God works in mysterious ways. But that is Hotel, no, I, I spoke to uh, Tafa and Sequin, very bright people. Tafa was the president of Kananafo. Sequin was a doctor, lecturer at Kananafo as well. He was a pastor, in, uh, now he's an elder in Tula. But one thing that they mentioned to me as I, we spoke, you know, just had a conversation, is that even though they had degrees, they were doctor, they were president, you know, these positions, high positions. But they, one thing that, I, that they had in common was their humility. Knowing that I cannot, I may have a doctor, I may have all this, but I don't know everything. They really spoke highly of Enoka Alisana. And they, and then they told me because they knew that was my pastor back in Samo. They say Enoka Alisana did not have a degree, but he knew more than I, as a doctor, knew. You see, that kind of humility. To be like Jesus. How do we know that we are children of God? That we are close to the likeness of God, of, of Christ? Look at verse 10. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. Do what is right and love your brother and your sister. Love your neighbor. Christ, before he ascended to heaven, said, Love one another. The theme for John's writing in his epistles are, is love. Love is what causes us to come together, to seek Christ. Without love, all of this is in vain. Paul was probably the closest to be like Jesus, his writings, but yet he said, I am the worst of the sinners. They all succeeded to be like Jesus, to look like Jesus. Only one failed, Judas. Judas is Iscariot. Yutal falata, he failed to be more like Jesus. Why? 
because of the guilt. Le anga sala lea sa ata putu yono lunga. Le monga ma mafa. Sa ata u mfai lava ya yuta. Avi ese e ia lava. Ea, na le mfaiya. Na o Yesu e mfaiya o na avi ese o tatu o venga ma anga sala. O lo o tau tau mia e o tatu o tangata. E fa asa o lo tu ina i tatu. Look at Peter. Peter sinned against Christ. He rejected Christ three times. What happened? He repented. Le tangi le tangi ya 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 Peter. O le tangi o le tangata o Salomo. Salamo i lona ang sala, malona fulitua ya kiriso. Ah, ili yaver lona ang sala na mamaya tau tau mamaya oya. Na yas salamo matipa tau lai ili li faolo yesu kiriso. He looked to Jesus to be able to be freed from the guilt and the sin that he that he had done. What happened? He became the rock, as I mentioned last week. Our sins, our weaknesses, God can use you. He can use me. He can use those weaknesses for us to overcome to be strengthened in our faith to him, in our likeness to him. He loved us so much that he came here on earth. There was no other way. It had to take the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. God himself becoming human his love is the reason why he suffered and he died. Because if it weren't for Jesus, you and me, we would all die. We would pay for the penalty of our sins. But Christ, because of his love for us, he paid it himself. He suffered, he died, so that we may be saved. Be like Jesus. Wake up every morning. Seek Jesus. Be like him. Don't be like Mike. Be like Jesus. That is my challenge for all of us today. Again, I would like to end this, our, the word of God with the prayer. If you have not accepted Christ into your heart and want to do so today or want to renew your relationship with Christ, if you want to be like Jesus, be a child of God. You cannot be a child of God if you do not accept him into your hearts. Father, we thank you for this life that you have given us. We thank you for reminding us that it is because of your love that we can receive that gift of salvation. Thank you for dying on the cross and resurrecting on the third day so that I may have eternal life. As I repent of my sins and ask you into my heart, I ask that you please forgive me, cleanse me, renew my heart, I accept you, O Lord, and I make you the Lord and Savior of my life. From this day forward, amen. Ole vi inga ilia tua, ole pese e tolu se lau valu se fulu.
tu fai ule ne sa ninga ile tatalo yetu mamai o ma tu lunga ma lungo la fa na fa tu tu ile la la nya tu le lofa o ile tama le lofa si si es yo yesu ke viso mal ma futanga fai fai pe mal o fio nga pa ia be the love of god the grace of jesus christ and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with all of god's people here and throughout the world amen